months ago, I made a decision. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. I was at a place in my career where I just wanted to give it a boost. Maybe you've been there where you feel like maybe you're plateauing and you want to give it one more like shot to move up a level. So I signed up for a workshop. And in order to get into this workshop, you had to be pretty much a successful kind of experienced speaker. So it was a speaker workshop for people who've been doing it a while and who are successful. And I signed up for it and I went to Denver thinking that they were going to hear my stories and they were going to say, you're awesome. Don't change a thing. That didn't happen. Oh. Actually, what happened was I began to give my presentations and they started talking about letting go. Letting go of material. Letting go of some of the ideas that maybe worked for maybe 10 years, right? And starting over. When I got back home, I started looking at some videos of some comedians that I love. Oh, me? Uh, Jerry Seinfeld, Louis C.K., Chris Rock. They were all together talking about how they get material. And here's what they said. Louis C.K. said every year he gets rid of his old material and he starts over. And Chris Rock said pretty much the same thing. He starts over letting go of some of that material that worked so well. And Jerry Seinfeld said he lets go of a piece of his material. He keeps his bit, but he always lets go of something. I, I have other stuff. You should come see me on the weekend. <laughs> And I kept hearing letting go, getting rid of, starting over. And it hit me that the guys at the conference were right. Sometimes we have to really look hard at where we are in our lives or some of the things that we're doing and some of the things that we have to let go of. For some of you, it might just be like a hairdo, right? Or the way we put on our makeup. Or maybe that friend or that neighbor that's been irritating us for years. Oh, me? But for me, I'm beginning to look at my work and I'm beginning to look at things that aren't as relevant today as they were even two, three years ago. So my resolution this year isn't what I'm going to do to add on, Whoa. it's what I'm going to do to get rid of and to let go. This is Karen McCullough and I hope you let go of at least one thing, but I hope it's not me. Another lesson from the road. See you later.